In this video I'll be visiting four different locations in Iceland for some moody wide-angle photography. As always I'll share tips, tricks, techniques and thoughts on my photos, so stay tuned to learn a lot and hopefully get some inspiration for some wide-angle moody landscape photography from both the ground and air. Also, be careful of scammers in the comment field. I will never ever ask you to contact me and if it looks too good to be true or fishy, it is. That being said, I always greatly appreciate both your likes and comments. They really do help the video out, so thanks a lot for those. So you can probably imagine that it's wet. Come down to the bottom of Hauifoss and there's just so, so much water in it today. It's uh, probably the most water I've ever seen in Hauifoss. So it's all good and fun and uh, been working on one shot where I have the waterfall in the background and then streets in the foreground like classic shot with the waterfall. But then we also had some sheep in the foreground and me and some of the other guys from the group like slowly came to them so they weren't afraid of us and then we just sat down and waited for the sheep to like get a little bit closer to us and then we could move a little and just not to make them afraid. And then we got them as a foreground. Uh, to, to the waterfall, which is probably like the most island, Icelandic photo that I've ever taken. It looks so, so good. And they were just so good at posing, so thank you sheep <laughs> for these photos. Sadly, another group of tourists came and obviously they were like with their phones, had to get closer and the sheep like started to run a little bit away and like, yeah, well, so much fun in that. But yeah, just, uh, it's so good to be back in Iceland. Like. I didn't know that I missed it so much, but this is just absolutely incredible. So good. So sadly I managed to screw up the audio for the top part of Howie Foss, so here's my voiceover instead. For logistics about this waterfall I already have a video on that which you can check out afterwards. Also be sure to get my digital Iceland landscape photography map with more than 80 locations worth visiting and photographing in Iceland. It's easy to integrate with Google Maps so that you always have a map by your hand. There's a link in the description of the video. So what I'm saying is me and Jerome is leading a little workshop with some great and enthusiastic people and I actually standing in for Nigel Danson as his back just wasn't ready to undertake a workshop in the Icelandic highlands. This is actually the first time I visit Hauifoss in moody weather as I got an incredible sunset and sunrise the first time I visited and more or less clear sky conditions on the second time. But I really find that moody conditions suits this waterfall very well. It actually suits the entire canyon and also the other waterfall called Granny, so this time the classic composition of Hauifoss made great sense. Despite the conditions having less light, I didn't really use my tripod as I could easily handhold the camera both for some panoramas and single photos. I used ISO 320 and f8 which was good enough for me to get a fast enough shutter speed to capture the details in the waterfall and not lose the sense of scale. My rule of thumb is, the bigger the waterfall, the faster the shutter speed and if I introduce a foreground, stream or river, I may long expose that one and then take a photo with a fast shutter speed for the background and combine them in Photoshop. This is one of the many many things I teach in my big Photoshop course. However, for the photos from this viewpoint, I didn't need to blend them. We also had some great rain clouds coming in, which washed out the background landscapes and created so much atmosphere, depth and mood. 
A little bit further along the ridge I found a small foreground plant which I also decided to use. This one was a bit more tricky as I had to focus stack it and to get close enough to it with the wide angle lens I had to make some tripod acrobatics. Be sure to subscribe to my newsletter where I exclusively announce workshops, special deals on my tutorials, news and notifications on new videos. We all do know that YouTube doesn't push my videos out to all of you. There's a subscription link in the description of the video and by subscribing you get access to the free light version of my ebook Landscape Composition which is all about composition in landscape photography. There is, of course, also a link to the full version of the ebook in the description of the video. So we come into the highlands and right now we have a little drone session with people flying their drones and what we are photographing is like the volcano crater thingy up here and yeah driving through the highlands again is <laughs> just like looks ridiculous like it's not even like the surface of the moon this is just like Armageddon in a thousand years, like it's another dimension more than another world, it's just oh, this black lava sand, <sighs> looks awesome. Just when we arrived, we are quite distracted by up here, there's like this really really awesome light phenomenon, it's a little bit hard to see here on the vlogging camera, but we have Hekla, the volcano here. And then we have clouds on top that was like coming down like this. And then the sun was beaming in here from the side. So I just got a, a shot here with the road leading up into this. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to turn out, but I, I'm pretty confident that it's, it's going to be really cool. But uh, yeah, I'm also going to fly my drone. I haven't been here before. Just wanted to make sure that everybody was on the wings and getting some shots here. <sighs> Epic. So we come over to a waterfall called 
Cordova Foss or something like that. And photographing it with the wide angle again towards the waterfall that kind of works as a leading line leading up to Burfell, which is this mountain here. So as you can see right here using the ground here as kind of a cup leading in to the waterfall and up there. So you can see this is how the composition looks like. As you can also see, I have a shutter speed of 25 seconds. So right now I'm trying with some longer exposures for once. I know I just said that if I'm shooting a waterfall, the larger it is, the more I just want to like catch all the details in the waterfall. So this is a pretty big waterfall. But sometimes you just have to like try something because in all honesty, I find that the water is quite like yucky. It is just, yeah, not looking good. It's brown and yeah, really super not very interesting. So I'm trying with some long exposures. Just before we had a big rain shower on top of the mountain. So half the mountain was like covered with rain which kind of looks like fog, which looks really, really nice in this particular case here. So uh, yeah, I think I will use one of those photos and then with a long exposure of the waterfall here in front. Not entirely sure, but you know, I'll try something. So I will also try to find some horizontal compositions a little bit further over where you offset the waterfall a little bit. But there is quite a lot of water in this waterfall right now. So yeah, well. Let's see what happens. Before we head to the last location, if you want to learn how I edit my photos, be sure to enroll in my huge Photoshop course. Here I share all my techniques such as blending photos, working with luminosity masks, focus stacking, how to avoid mistakes, cleaning your photos, curating your photos, working with atmosphere and glow, and much much more. I've built up the course progressively, so we start out easy and then advance through the course so that we do not lose anybody on the way. There's a discount code to save some money and a link in the description of the video. So we have made it to Malifat in the black desert here. And we are just letting loose the drones. So everybody is flying the drone in this. Finally, a little bit of moody weather again. We have actually had a couple of days with like almost clear blue skies. Uh, but now we've finally got some clouds. Got a little bit of rain, got some nice rainbow shots earlier on the way out here. And now we have like the sun breaking through a little bit. So up here, lighting up the mountains here in, in the distance. But our main subject is of course Malifet right here. I'll also start getting the drone up. See if I can find some compositions. There are some glacier rivers, which works really well. If you have seen my old video, from Malifet. Sadly, those Highland videos didn't do very well here on YouTube, yet it's some of my absolute best content I've ever produced. So after you've watched this video, be sure to go back and watch my older Iceland videos from the Highlands in my Iceland series, because they're so good and I got so great photos back then.
Getting back to Iceland for the first time in two and a half years was great. On the one hand it feels like a lifetime ago, but on the other hand it felt like coming back home to a place well known. If you have yet to see my epic video from the volcano last week, which you all seem to have enjoyed so much, it's definitely one of my most engaged with videos in a very long time. So thanks for all the comments, I read them all and it means a lot you enjoy my videos. But yes, be sure to watch or rewatch the volcano video via the link here and check out all the links in the description of the video for the newsletter, map, ebooks and photoshop course. See you all next time.